Hello everyone, how are you? Your favorite photographer Akshay here and welcome to the basic photography series. In this video, we are going to learn about what are the RAW and JPEG file formats. How are they different? What are the advantages and disadvantages of shooting in both of these file formats? So let's get started. Let's talk about RAW first. RAW image is just what it sounds like. It's the untouched, unprocessed data captured by your camera sensor. It contains all the information your sensor recorded without any in-camera processing, compression or downsizing. Think of it as digital negative. This means you will have the highest image quality and the maximum flexibility for post-processing. When you edit a RAW file, you will have maximum control over the exposure, white balance and color grading. You can also recover the highlights and shadows that might be lost in a JPEG. Editing a RAW file is non-destructive, meaning you can make changes without degrading the image quality. But with JPEG, each edit you make can cause loss in quality. Different camera manufacturers have different RAW file types. For example, Sony RAW files are .ARW. Canon RAW files are .CR2 and Nikon RAW files are .NEF. RAW files are significantly larger than JPEGs. They take up more space on your memory card and hard drive. So you will have to make sure your memory card has enough room to save all the RAW images on a shoot. Working with RAW files can slow down your workflow. The RAW files require post-processing. You will have to spend some time editing them to get the best result out of them. You will not be able to share the raw images online immediately after the shoot. Therefore, they are not suitable for fast-paced photography like sports. On the other hand, JPEG is a compressed file format and that's the default your camera shoots. When you take a JPEG photo, your camera processes the images, compresses it and then saves it as a JPEG file. This compression reduces the file size but also sacrifices some image data. Consider JPEG as digital print. JPEG is a universal file format. It can be read by most of the computers, mobile phones and other applications. JPEGs are much smaller in file sizes, allowing you to fit more images in your memory card and on your hard drive. Since JPEGs are processed in camera, they have more sharpness, more contrast and more saturation than RAWs and they are ready to use right out of the camera. You can see here in the side-by-side -side comparison of RAW and JPEG how the RAW file looks flat with less contrast and saturation and the JPEG looks processed. So you can choose the resolution of JPEGs you want to shoot in. Shooting in JPEG can speed up your workflow, making it ideal for events or any situation where speed matters. JPEGs are more forgiving for beginners. The images are processed in camera so that you don't have to worry much about post-processing. JPEG compression can discard some image data to reduce the file size. This can cause the loss of details in highlights and shadows. JPEGs have less flexibility in post-processing. Once you have applied the in-camera settings, it is challenging to make significant changes. Also, JPEGs have narrower dynamic range as compared to RAW. This means they might not capture all the details in high contrast scenes. With all the differences, advantages and disadvantages of the RAW and JPEG out of the way, you must be thinking which file format you should shoot on. You should shoot on RAW file format when you want highest image quality, when you have time for post-processing and you need the maximum control over editing. It is great for landscapes, portraits or any situation where image quality matters the most, especially if you are taking up any professional assignments always shoot raw. You can shoot JPEGs if you want faster workflow, if you have limited storage on your memory card or you're shooting in a situation where you won't edit your images extensively. It's suitable for events and sports. Even if you're shooting on your phone, most phone these days allow you to shoot raw files. Generally, they are DNG files. You can edit these images directly on your phone using apps like Lightroom Mobile for maximum image quality. That's all about RAW and JPEG. And remember to always shoot RAW. Lastly, I want to mention that I mentor people. If you want to learn photography personally from me, you can send me an email. I will mention the email address in the description. Do follow us on our Instagram. The handle is on the screen. And follow me on my personal Instagram. The handle is again on the screen. 
Thanks for tuning in. And if you found this video helpful, do give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to Ray Photography. I will see you guys in the next video.